video, we're going to derive the half angle formulas for sine, cosine, and tangent. In the previous video, we derived the reduction formulas, which let us turn higher powers of the trig functions into terms that only use the first power of the function. So for example, here we turned sine squared into something that only uses cosine. These functions can be used to derive the half angle formulas, so that's where we're going to start. In each case, we're going to say that theta is equal to alpha over 2. So we're going to take this formula first, copy it, and then we're going to rewrite it with our new theta. So sine squared of alpha over 2 is equal to 1 minus the cosine of 2 times alpha over 2, all over 2. Here the 2's cancel, and on the right we are left with 1 minus the cosine of alpha over 2. Final step for sine is to take the square root of each side, and we are left with the sine of alpha over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine alpha over 2. So let's take this, save it off to the bottom. Now we will repeat the process for cosine. So again, we'll rewrite the formula using our new theta, where theta is equal to alpha over 2, equals 1 plus the cosine of 2 times alpha over 2, all over 2. Right side equals 1 plus cosine, 2's cancel, of alpha over 2. And then taking the square root, we find that the cosine of alpha over 2 is equal to plus or minus 1 plus cosine of alpha over 2. So there is the half angle formula for cosine. And we will do it one more time for tangent. So step one, tan squared of alpha over 2 is equal to 1 minus the cosine of 2 times alpha over 2 all over 1 plus the cosine of 2 times alpha over 2. Twos on top and bottom both cancel. And the right side turns out to be cosine of alpha over 1 plus the cosine of alpha, just like this. Take the square root here, and we have tan of alpha over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus cosine alpha over 1 plus cosine alpha. And so here is the half angle formula for tangent. The last thing I want to go over is we have these plus or minuses here. And the reason that's there is because depending on the angle you're dealing with and where it falls on the plot, that will determine what the sine is. So if we have quadrants 1, 2, 3, and 4, sine, grab a green, Sine is going to be positive in quadrants 1 and 2, and negative in 3 and 4. Cosine is going to be positive in 1 and 4, and negative in th 2 and 3. And tangent is going to be positive in 1 and positive in 3 and negative in 2 and negative in 4. So depending on what your angle is, you'll need to figure out the signage based on the quadrant you're in.